Best PR Forum videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We are previewing week six in the NFL right now, and we are talking with uh, Joe Duffy from OffshoreInsiders.com. We're going to discuss Jacksonville at Denver with Joe. Joe, thanks for being back this, this week. Thank you, Peter. It's going to be a big game from a handicapping standpoint. Absolutely. And you're 11 and 5 against the spread in your uh, NFL videos with us so far this year. So you've absolutely earned it. Give a plug for OffshoreInsiders.com and uh, tell us a little bit about who you are and what we can find there. Well, Joe Duffy's picks at OffshoreInsiders.com. We trace our roots back to the score phone days. My plays have been public now 26 years. 32 and 16 in the NFL with our premium plays going back to the preseason. We told you we tightened up our metrics, did all kinds of auditing, and this was going to be one of our best years ever. So far, 32 and 16, that's 67%. Promises delivered at offshoreinsiders.com. That sounds great, Joe. Excuse me. I have a little bit of a dry throat right now, so I'm going to have to uh, drink some water while we're shooting this. That's not a problem. Uh, Jacksonville at Denver is the game that we're going to discuss. Denver, of course, the best team in the NFL. Jacksonville, the worst team in the NFL. Denver's at home. Obviously, Denver is going to be a big favorite here, but I actually haven't had time to uh, research this line yet, so I, I don't know where it is or where it opened. What's the line, Joe Duffy? It is 26 and a half points. Jesus Christ, are you serious? 26 and a half points on this freaking NFL game? <laughs> it is 26 and a half points. Heck, what's even more shocking, don't ask me what the opener was because it was slightly higher than that. The line opened even higher. Where the fuck did this line open, Joe Duffy? Tw 28. 28? <laughs> the line yes, opened at what the, What were these odds makers thinking? Yes, uh, you should swallow, not spit. But yeah. yes, 28 was <laughs> definitely the widely available opening line on this contest. Swallow, not spit. That, that's not bad, Joe Duffy. You wrote that one yourself? Uh, I, I absolutely positively may have. Well, that was a good one. Joe Duffy, I don't know, man. What, what's this world coming to, man? We got the government shutting down. We got a 28-point opening line in the NFL. What's your, that seems way too high, right? No NFL game should have a spread of 28 points, right? No, that is correct. In fact, of point spread 17 or higher, the underdog is 20 and 8 going back to 1994. And of point spreads 20 or higher, 8 and 2. Uh, Chris Collingsworth had a kind of an interesting quote on Sunday night that I think applies to this game. Collingsworth said, as a player, he didn't fear getting hurt, but he feared getting embarrassed. And I think that is going to be a huge motivational factor for Jacksonville. They won't want to get embarrassed in this game. So if there's ever a big discrepancy in motivation in a regular season game, this is surely it. Yeah, and I mean, Denver actually does have some injuries. I don't know if you, uh, if you caught that, but at the end of the last game, they started to get hit by the injury mm -hmm. bug a little bit, and people are discussing this line, and Jacksonville definitely does not want to be disrespected here. They know that this line is the biggest in NFL history. They don't want to come into this game as the biggest underdog in NFL history and even blow the cover and, you know, maybe have it be like history. They should have been an even bigger cover. So if this get you know, in the fourth quarter, if Denver's way up, you know Denver is not going to be playing going 100%. Jacksonville will be going 110%. I have to think that actually Jacksonville, even at 26 and a half, might be a pretty decent bet. Yeah, no, the Jaguars' manhood is literally going to be tested this Sunday. And they're going, they don't want to be embarrassed. And really more importantly than any Denver injuries, keep in mind the Jaguars got Justin Blackman yeah. back last week. He was suspended. He's their biggest weapon. And more importantly than that, defenses can't completely focus on Maurice Jones-Drew. And you can understand where Jones-Drew is a heck of a player. Maybe he's had some problems getting completely fired up for games. But now that they have a little bit of life, They've got two legitimate weapons, one at running back, one at wide receiver. Jacksonville's personnel is better than it's been at any time this year. Also, the quarterback situation, Chad Henney's going to be starting, starting for them at quarterback. He is the lesser of two evils with Blaine Gabbert. Now, the theory on Blaine Gabbert, Jacksonville hasn't completely given up on him. He was drafted as the 10th pick overall last year. So if any quarterback has a great upside, it would be Gabbert. So they're play they were playing Gabbert as their number one quarterback for the future. But as far as this week, there's no question that Chad Henney right now is the better quarterback, or I might more accurately say the least, the lesser of the two evils. So they've got a better quarterback this week. They've got a wide receiver who is a true playmaker, and maybe that all is going to invigorate the pretty much of a stud running back. All right, so your pick uh, for the purpose of this video is going to be uh, Jacksonville plus 26 and a half. I asked you to take this game, but, uh, you know, is your pick going to be on this game, you know, if you had to take a side, Jacksonville's the side that you would take, or do you think that actually Jacksonville might be actually worth a bet? 
No, I, I will definitely um, take Jacksonville in this video, and there's a very good possibility they will be a premium pick. Like I said, in a regular season game, it's rare when a big underdog is clearly so much more motivated to keep it close than the favorite is to blow them out. So for motivational reasons alone, plus the personnel reasons that we discussed, Jacksonville, this will be the best team they put on the field all year. Granted, that's not saying much. It's like being the tallest midget in the circus. But Jacksonville, <laughs> this Sunday will be better than what they put on the field in week two. All right, well, thanks for covering this uh, very interesting, crazy game. Joe Duffy, I think we're in agreement here. Uh, Jacksonville plus 26 and a half is the pick, right? And yes, it is the pick. And you said thanks for covering it. Hopefully, I literally will. But yes, I am going with Jacksonville plus the points. Okay, Jacksonville plus 26 and a half. Thanks so much. Joe Duffy from OffshoreInsiders.com.